Hi guys, it's Richard again and back with the sixth video and what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be looking at finding the content i.e. the questions and tips that you can put into the PowerPoint presentations uh, as your you know your text content so uh, we're in Google let's uh, let's do a search and we're going to do a search for Yahoo answers and we're just going to put in chickens and let's just see what that brings back okay so we've uh, we've got some some results come back let's just take a, a scroll down here and let's see what we've got okay uh, let's have a look at this one how do I get my chickens to have baby chicks great question let's just open that up now uh, that will take us over to Yahoo answers okay so here we are over at the uh, the question how do I get my chickens to have baby chicks so you can uh, you can read this content here so someone's actually asking the question let's see if anyone's actually uh, made an answer to this okay so you've got this particular uh, you've got this answer here there's lots of content here uh, let's have a look when a hen sits on her eggs and incubates them that is called broody well okay um, I actually know a little bit about this subject because we've got chickens ourselves so I I understand the subject pretty well um, what you can do here the, the key thing about this is that what you're doing you're going to Yahoo answers you're choosing a, a broad let's say a broad subject like we've chosen here which is chickens and you can pick some of the questions so you can take that question and then you can actually go and find out more information so what you could do is you could copy some of this information and use it within the uh, the tip for that particular question now what I'm doing here I'm not saying that you copy this information and you just use it as it is what I'm advising you to do is to read through here and basically pick and choose just maybe one or two sentences that gives a very very solid answer to the question and also make sure that you do actually rewrite this content so that you make it unique to you so basically it's then you know your content this is really a way of just researching how to find questions good questions that people are looking for answers to that's another important point because if it's in your video then you can add it into your video description or also you can add it into the the tags within the video so think about that as well so this is something that you know people are looking for so they're also going to be people looking for that type of subject in video format so this is the key thing we're putting these elements together to make sure that your videos also attract traffic as well which is very key so hopefully this is useful for you uh, Yahoo Answers a great way to get content for your questions and tips okay guys thanks a lot that's the uh, that's the end of this first section of the uh, the video training and what we're going to be doing next we are now going to be moving on and I'm going to be showing you how you can actually record your PowerPoint presentation and turn it into a video and we're going to be looking at doing that with uh, with Camtasia and we're also going to be looking at doing that with one of the uh, the free screen recording softwares as well okay cheers guys